Hello and howdy. Today I'm showing you my one and only Black Friday purchase for the year, which I picked up from Fountain Pen Revolution. It's a Jiper V2 in the Jade Cracked Ice with an Ultra Flex Steel Nib. Taking a closer look at the pen, you'll see that the finial on the cap comes to a rounded point and the blind cap is very slightly domed. Removing the cap will reveal the Ultraflex nib and ebonite feed. The pronounced cutouts in the shoulders of the nib are what greatly reduces the amount of pressure needed to flex the nib. You are also able to see the ink window, which unfortunately was immediately stained after my initial fill. Filling this pen is very similar to any piston fill pen, with one extra step of removing the blind cap to reveal the piston knob. From my previous testing with this pen, the flow is enough to write, but isn't enough to maintain even minimal flexing at a fairly slow pace, at least using the inks I had on hand. To combat this, let me show you a quick hack to increase the flow without needing to modify your pen. We will start by diluting a bit of dish soap in water. This is roughly one drop of soap to three or four spoonfuls of water. Mix the two to disperse the soap. Soap reduces the surface tension of water and for our purposes will make the ink flow more readily through the feed. For this video I added roughly five drops of diluted soap using a pipette. By unscrewing the nib unit on the Jiper and adding it directly to the ink reservoir. Doing it this way means you will need to use up the ink already in the feed before you will see the benefits. But it prevents you from ruining a larger quantity of ink by adding too much soap. Used sparingly, this increases flow, but too much will result in an unusable fire hose of ink as soon as the nib hits the page. Now that I've got it going, I'll do a quick writing sample and then a summary of my thoughts on this pen. Overall, the build quality is quite nice. Everything fits together well, and there's no loose or sloppy fitting pieces. And the material is probably one of my favorites. Any of the cracked ice style, and this one in particular, is no exception. And since it uses a nib unit rather than a friction fit nib, it's easy to swap them out just by unscrewing the nib unit and purchasing another from Fountain Pen Revolution. Really, my only complaint is just how easy the ink window was stained. I don't particularly use any hard-to-clean inks, and I wasn't able to clean it out with soap and water using a Q-tip. Overall, this is a really nice pen, with or without the Ultraflex nib. 
So if you're interested, just make sure to check out Fountain Pen Revolution, as they often have sales on all of their pens. So if you're paying full price, you're doing it wrong. And if you've made it to the end of the video, it's possible you'll enjoy my other content, so consider subscribing.